Hello everybody and welcome back to the Witch's Cauldron. So today I posted yesterday some pictures on Instagram about the recipe that I want to talk about today and it's a little bit about paprika. So well as some of you know I am Mexican so of course spice and chile is really embedded in our culture. And the interesting thing about capsicum or about everything that has to do with uh, sp uh, spicy chiles is that there is a debate whether as it is originally from the new continent or America or if it comes actually from other places like China. But in terms, um, in general terms, let's put it that it does come from America or the new continent, or whatever you want to call it. So I had to come to London to actually learn about the fact that uh, Chile, or capsicum, creates endorphins. So I was in my favorite pub, which is the Homeboy, here in London, and they were giving me a drink that had um, Ancho Chile, and he was telling me, Aaron was telling me, that uh, Chile creates endorphins, but that you need pineapple to actually make it through your body, and so the endorphins can actually start acting up. So there is a part of truth on that. However, as I am who I am, I decided to research it, and I found out that capsicum in general, or any Chile in general, does create endorphins, at the moment it hits your bloodstream and because it's an oil the easiest way to spread it out in your body is with water that does not leave aside that tacos al pastor are just perfect because they have chile ancho and they have other types of chile they all have a secret recipe and of course we eat them with pineapple so i'm just gonna leave it at that but, so the recipe that I was doing yesterday, it was just easy. It was really easy recipe. So what I did is that I cooked um, some potatoes in water with a little bit of salt. Then I chopped um, an onion and I started to saute the onion. And then I cut up the, the um, potatoes, added it to the onion and also I added a little bit of chickpeas. So this is um, kind of like a chickpea paprika version and I decided to do this paprika version well first of all because I did live some time with with a Hungarian and he taught me how to love paprika even more and also because again paprika or capsicum in general generate endorphins. So again, right now we all have to be really, really happy. So of course I cooked up the, the potatoes with a little bit of salt. Um, then I added up the chickpeas that I had previously washed. They were from a can. And at the end I added a bit of butter and then I spread out the paprika. So that's the secret, that's the secret that I learned with uh, the Hungarians, is that in order for the paprika not to become bitter, you have to put it at the end. And of course, uh, means of transportation, in this case, the fat of the butter, makes it just even smoother and more delicious. Interest interesting thing about paprika, I mean, there are many many types of of ways of doing paprika for example in my case i love portuguese paprika for my my um popcorn and they all have different methods of how to dry it out and how to make it a powder and how to smoke it so for me portuguese paprika is the best for um for popcorn and again Butter is the, the king with paprika. Then um, Spanish paprika is, of course, perfect for paella. 
it's just delicious. And Hungarian paprikash, it's smoky, it's slightly more, more spicy, and it has an other edge to it. So with anything that has to do with a stew, Hungarian paprika will be the perfect paprika to use. So again, because the witch's cauldron is a little bit about spice, um, the different methods of how things are being dried up or the different tastes does make a difference. And I encourage you to go to your local store if you're able to and find different types of paprika and try them out. And you'll see that all of them are perfect and different in their unique way. So get those endorphins going on with a little bit of paprika. Thank you for watching.